Okay guys, you'd like to know how to find the angle sum of a polygon. First of all, let us define what is a polygon. A polygon is a plane figure that has more than three sides. They have to be straight sides and of course it has angles. So a polygon has more than three straight sides or three straight sides or more and it has angles. Now these polygons come in different shapes and of course different sizes. We have what we know the pentagon with five sides, hexagon six sides, the heptagon or the septagon seven sides, octagon eight sides, nonagon nine sides, decagon ten sides, undecagon eleven sides, dodecagon twelve sides. So all these polygons are different types they have more than three or three or more sides to them. Let us see how we can find the angle sum of a polygon. Angle sum of a polygon meaning all the angles in a polygon add up to how much? What is the total of their sum altogether? Now the angle sum of a polygon we need to look at what we call regular polygons. Regular polygons are polygons that have the same straight sides in terms of length and the same size angles. So here we have a regular pentagon and a regular hexagon. A regular pentagon has five equal sides and five equal angles. Hexagon six equal sides and six equal angles. So let's see what formula we can use to work out the angle sum, meaning all these five angles how many degrees do they add up to in a pentagon and we're going to also use the same formula to find the angle sum of a hexagon. Now the formula is a very easy one. 180 bracket n minus 2. That's the formula for the angle sum of a polygon. 180 times, we have a little times here, but it is invisible, 180 times everything in the bracket, n take away 2. Now n is basically how many sides are there in this polygon. So the pentagon we know has five sides, so to work the, this out we write the formula, we replace the n with how many sides, we have five sides, take away 2, And when we work it out, we have 540 degrees. So 5 take away 2, 3 times 180, 540 degrees. So the angle sum of this pentagon is 540 degrees. That means this angle plus that angle plus that angle plus that angle plus that angle. All five angles added together add up to 540 degrees. Now, the hexagon. The same formula. We know the hexagon has six sides. It's a regular polygon in this case here. So 180, the formula n minus 2. I always tell my students, write the formula. In case you make a mistake here, you may get marks for showing working out. The majority of times you will get marks for showing your formula and your working out. So we have our formula. Now we show our working out. N is the number of sides, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, take away 2, 6 take away 2 is 4, 4 times 180, 720 degrees. So the angle sum of a hexagon is 720 degrees, we use our angle sum formula, as you can see we no, there are six sides, six take away two, four, four times 180, 720 degrees, meaning this angle plus that one, 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 plus that one the whole total will equal to 720 degrees. Now this formula can be used for any polygon. A decagon has 10 sides, so we replace the N with 10. A heptagon or a septagon has seven sides, so we replace the N with seven, and we can also work out the angle sum of those shapes. So as you can see, the angle sum 720 for a hexagon, 
the angle sum using the formula for a pentagon, 540 degrees. Now let's go a step further. Sometimes you're going to be asked, okay, the angle sum for a pentagon is 540. Okay, so what about if we want to know one angle? How much is that going to be? Well, since we know that 540 is the total, one angle, meaning we only want to find one, so we work it out, 540 divided by 5 angles, and we will know that each angle is 108 degrees. So we know the total is 540, we want to know, okay, the, the angle by itself, just one angle, 540 divided by 5, because there are 5 angles in a pentagon, each angle is 108 degrees. Hexagon, same thing. We know 720 is the angle sum, the total, but there are 6 angles. We would like to know what is the size of one angle. So 720 divided by, there are 6 angles, and of course it's going to be 720 divided by 6, 100 and 20 degrees. So it's very important to know that the angle sum is the total, which is 540 for the pentagon, 720 for the hexagon, and if you want to find only one angle, you divide by how many angles there are. 540 divided by 5, 108 each, and 720 for the hexagon divided by 6 angles, that means 120 each, and that will work for all polygons. This is a formula. Make sure you memorize it. It's going to become very handy throughout high school.